news of the updated A-Class, Mercedes-Benz Malaysia brings us the refreshed GLA. Just like before, the GLA is available in 4 variants, the 200, 250, 35 and 45, catering to different needs in the Malaysian market. But today, I'll be diving into the entry-level GLA 200. Is this update packed with significant enhancements, or are they just subtle tweaks? Let's take a closer look. With that, welcome back to Carsing.my for another review video. At first glance, the new Mercedes-Benz GLA might look almost identical to its pre-facelift version. The silhouette remains the same, so you need a sharp eye to spot the differences. But don't worry, if you can't tell them apart right away, I'm here to show you the updates. The most obvious changes, the lights. Up front, the headlights now feature a refreshed graphics, giving the GLA a distinct look compared to its predecessor. Though, on this entry-level model, they still come with reflector-style LED headlights. Of course, if you opt for the higher-end models, you will likely get projector-style headlights for an even more premium touch. As for the tail lights, they've also been revamped. They now resemble those found on the newer GLC, which was something that is expected from Mercedes-Benz. Other than that, the grille has undergone a significant redesign. This new look adds a fresh bolt character that distinguishes the updated vehicle from the previous model. The front and rear bumpers have also been completely revamped, enhancing the GLA's overall appearance with a more modern and dynamic flair. And don't forget about the wheels. The GLA now sports a set of redesigned 5 twin spoke rims, while the size remains at 18 inches with 235-55R18 tires, these new rims add a stylish touch to the vehicle. While the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLA may not have undergone major changes to its exterior, the interior updates offer a refined touch that enhances the driving experience. One of the standout features for this model is the addition of Mercedes-Benz star graphics on the trims around the cabin. This subtle yet stylish update aligns with the latest design trends seen across the brand's newest models. Another notable change is at the center console. The touchpad has been replaced with a tray, giving the center console a cleaner and more streamlined appearance. But with the removal of the touchpad, it does have some ripple effects. Along with the touchpad, Mercedes-Benz has also eliminated some shortcut buttons, including a button where I find it pretty handy, the skip button. Without the skip button, changing songs now means navigating through the infotainment screen, which can be a bit cumbersome, especially when you're on the move. On top of that, the new steering wheel design introduces touch-sensitive buttons. While they bring a futuristic look, they do feel a bit flimsy compared to the physical buttons found on the previous model. It's a trade-off between style and functionality, and for those who prefer a more tactile feel, this might take some time to get used to it. The dashboard remains largely unchanged, with dual 10.25-inch displays serving as both the infotainment screen and the instrument cluster. However, there's a tech upgrade. The GLA now runs the latest MBUX operating system, bringing it in line with the current Mercedes-Benz lineup. The software is smoother and more intuitive, with added support for wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Beyond the software update, the interior stays familiar. The seats have been carried over from the previous model, and the boot space remains unchanged at 435 meters. Under the hood, the GLA 200 continues to feature the proven 1.33-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine. This powertrain is paired with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, and the power is being delivered to the front wheels. Let's take a look at the performance figures for this powertrain.
when you're on the road, it offers enough power to swiftly get the vehicle up to speed. With 250 Nm of torque, you'll enjoy strong in-gear acceleration that makes merging onto highways and overtaking a breeze. However, there's a slight lag when accelerating from a standstill. The delay is due to the dual-clutch transmission, which takes a moment to engage. Interestingly, this wasn't much of an issue with the A200, which uses the same powertrain. The difference might be because the A200 is a lighter vehicle. When it comes to fuel economy, the GLA200 holds its own with an average 8.3 liters per 100 km figure. When it comes to the suspension of the GLA, comfort is a top priority. This compact SUV glides over bumps and road imperfections with impressive ease. But what about handling? While the GLA does have some body roll when cornering, it never feels excessively wobbly. The vehicle maintains a planted feel, even through tight turns. The sharp steering enhances confidence, allowing you to navigate twists and turns with ease. Though, for those who prefer a more substantial steering feel, a bit more weight might be desirable. Like most Mercedes-Benz models, the GLA 200 is equipped with a dependable set of brakes that inspire confidence and deliver a smooth stopping experience. Even with the 2024 updates, the GLA maintains its solid braking performance, giving you that reassuring control every time you step on the brake pedal. While the 2024 model brings fresh updates, the driver assistance system remains at the entry level, much like the previous version. Let's take a look at the available safety and driver assistance systems on the GLA 200. With a price tag of 259,000 ringgit, the updates on this model are relatively minor. Then again, the GLA continues to cater to those seeking an SUV experience. But if you're looking for a vehicle that makes the most out of the 1.33 litre engine, you might find the A200 more suitable. Its smaller size puts less strain on the engine, offering a more efficient drive. But if higher ground clearance is what you need, the GLA could be the perfect fit. It offers the extra height for those occasional off-road adventures or just a more commanding view of the road. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more reviews. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. If you want to learn more about the Mercedes-Benz GLA 200, head over to our website, carsick.my. See you soon. Bye.